what's up everyone I just got done with work and I wanted to go riding but it's on and off raining so I think I'm gonna take the time and put my sissy bar on fortunately if it's raining and I have to be in a cage I have a truck that I really really love that's Letty you guys say hi Letty she's a 2017 F-150 Ford Lariat, uh, but she's a special edition with a Roush performance package, which means she has a Roush supercharger, and she's got 600 horsepower. So, I love her. So, I'm going to attempt to take my bags off here. I'm probably going to have to enlist a friend to help hold up the sissy bar. I hate doing stuff in my garage. I need my other garage outside to be built, but I'm still waiting on permits. It's taking forever. And I don't know if you guys know, but that's big booty back there. She's just gonna be a bystander today. What is going on, my friends? Happy Sunday fun day. It is Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. And I haven't ridden in a few days because the weather has been terrible. Yesterday it rained all day. This morning it was raining. It was a thunderstorm this morning and there were tornado warnings. Yuck. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere it got sunny and beautiful. So of course you know I had to jump on my bike. I just put my new sissy bar on yesterday and I couldn't even ride it because it was raining. So let me know what you guys think of the sissy bar. I absolutely love it. I love that it's customized. I'll tag the person who made it if you're interested in getting one. It is just gorgeous out here. Perfect floor today. 74 degrees right now. Couldn't ask for better weather. Earlier I went to Blue Springs State Park and I uh, saw the manatees. They come into the river and the spring from the ocean to stay warm during this time of the year. So there was over 150 there today. It was really, really cool. figure I'd get on the bike and go for a little ride before the Super Bowl game. I'm wondering what y'all are doing for the Super Bowl. You going out? You staying home? I'm making some um, homemade chili and my homemade chicken wings. I have a, uh, a family recipe secret. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Only like a couple people know it. It's good stuff though. I feel like the sissy bar just looks really good with the way my bike is coming together. Next is gonna be putting on my windshield. I um, have a Road Warrior fairing with windshield from Memphis Shades. And I've been trying to hold out because um, I have a garage being built in my backyard, but Orange County, Florida, the, the permitting center is just, um, not very awesome let's just put it that way so it's been almost three months and I haven't heard a damn thing so I'm gonna break down and get my fairing on and in my garage the regular garage which irritates me because I have to put up a folding chair or a folding table and get all my tools out and I just need more space I know I know first world problems Does anybody uh, even care about this Super Bowl? I'm a Chicago fan first because I grew up in the Chicago area. So, you know, the Bears. Uh, but I'm also a Saints fan. I know it's like so wrong to have two teams. I'll always root for the Bears first. Loyalty, something to be said for that. <clears throat> but I wanted Breeze to go all the way this year. So who knows if he's going to be coming back next year. I lived in Louisiana for four years, so kind of fell in love with the city of New Orleans. 
Have any of you been to New Orleans? Are you from New Orleans? So I miss a lot of things about that city. I lived halfway in between Baton Rouge and, uh, and New Orleans, but I spent a lot of time in New Orleans. It is my favorite city that I've ever visited so far. Anywhere. It's just so full of culture. And everyone thinks, you know, New Orleans equals Bourbon Street. And yes, Bourbon Street is fun. Yes, I recommend you do it. Mardi Gras is fun. But the rest of the city is just so rich in culture. The food is, I mean, you can't even describe it. Well, I'm going to go through that. Ah, bottles. Um, the food, I mean, I love Cajun flavoring food. And the music, you will definitely fall in love with some jazz and blues if you uh, ever spend any time in New Orleans. The architecture, there's nothing like it. And the art, there's people on almost every corner making art, especially right around Jackson Square, St. Louis Cathedral. Just pure beauty in that city. I try to go back every year. Um, I didn't this year, be, last year because of, of the pandemic and everything. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get there this year because I have some um, some fun things to do. One thing that I'm really excited about is um, I turned the big 4-0 later this year in December. So I decided <laughs> I'm old, I'm gonna do what I want. And I'm planning a trip to Louisville because I love me some bourbon. So you guys help me out. Who, who's from Louisville or has been there? You know, which uh, distilleries do you recommend? I definitely want to do um, Buffalo Trace and Angel's Envy. Um, but I've never been to Louisville. Fortunately, I do have a friend that lives in that area um, and I should be able to get to see her and her wife and I'm really excited about that. I haven't seen her in a really long time. We played soccer together when we were kiddos. One of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. Um, so I'm really excited. So you guys help me out. Tell me what I should do or not do in Louisville. All right. Cujo has her sissy bar on. Guys, it looks really badass. I did enlist the help of my best friend and my mom helped me put it on because it's easier. How cool is that, guys? She's coming together, piece by piece. 